In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add social sharing buttons to your WordPress website. We're gonna be using a free plugin that allows you to add a couple of the main networks like Facebook and Twitter. And there is a premium version available if you wanna add even more than that. It's really easy, really simple. Let's get on with it. So this is the site I'm gonna be adding the social sharing buttons to. It's bestroofbox.com. It's one of my Amazon affiliate websites. By the way, I've got a whole playlist of videos all about this website, including how I made it, all the work that I've been doing on it, how much it's earning, how much traffic it gets, all that kind of interesting stuff. So be sure to go check that out. I'll put a link in a card now and you'll also find a link in the description of this video. Anyway, I'm already logged into the site. So let's install the plugin that we're gonna be using today. We go into the dashboard, plugins, add new. Then up in the search box, I'm gonna type in social snap. It's this one that comes up here, the first one. Click install now. There we go. I'm gonna click activate to turn it on. Now we're ready to set it up. So I'm gonna click Customize Social Snap. And we'll just go through some of these settings. So the first one is social sharing. We can manage our networks here. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I don't think I want LinkedIn, so I'll just click on the cross. You can edit these by uh, clicking on the pencil. You can change the label if you like. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Not quite sure what you'd rename Facebook to as it's Facebook, isn't it? You can add a few more networks like email, maybe copy link, it's quite useful, uh, and even print. If you want more social networks, then you're gonna need to upgrade to the full version of Social Snap. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna do that, and go check it out, but I'm just gonna be using the free one today. If you do use my link, I really appreciate it. It's an affiliate link, so I will earn a small commission if you do buy it. You can have a share count if you like. To do that, you need to authorize. I'm not gonna use a share count right now because Content hasn't really been shared that much, so I think it looks a bit silly if you've got a share count of zero or one or two, so I'll leave that for now. Just gonna click Save Changes. Let's go back, see what else we've got. So we've got the floating sidebar. In fact, let me open the site in a new tab so we can just have a look at what's going on. I'll go into a post. So we can see that there is, I'm just scrolling through just to see what's going on. It's added it at the bottom. Um, and also on the side here. So you can decide where you want to place the buttons. I think I want mine actually at the top, over the top and the bottom, I think. Uh, and I wanna lose this kind of floating one. I'm not a big fan of that. So let's turn off the floating one. Do it by ticking this little uh, switcher here. Of course, you can change the options if you want to uh, have a floater in terms of where it shows and the size and all that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna turn it off for now. Let's say, I just want the inline buttons. I want them above and below. I want them centered. In fact, I want them stretched. I want them to fill the full width of the site. You can adjust the style of the buttons. I think rectangle works for me. You can have the share count or the network label or none. Um, I think I'm gonna go for network label. So I wanna show them on the post, I don't wanna show them anywhere else. You can have button spacing or not, I'm gonna leave that on. You can have a more button, which is the all networks thing, I'm gonna turn that off, don't want that. And for the rest of this stuff you need to upgrade. You can also hide on the mobile if you want which I'm gonna leave that off. So let's just save the changes. We're pretty much there, it's pretty easy this really. Let's just check the other things. So you can enable uh, social sharing buttons on images and things if you want, but um, yeah, like a Pinterest button, that kind of thing. As I've been using Pinterest, I think I might turn that on. That might be quite cool. And all the rest of these settings are, are fine. So let's save and let's just take a look. I'm gonna refresh. So there's the Pinterest save, quite like that. 
There's our sharing buttons. And there they are at the bottom as well. Now we seem to have too much space at the bottom. I think that could be because of some custom CSS that I've got in uh, my settings due to uh, it not having enough white space previously. Let me just have a look. If you're running this very same theme, you may have this issue as well. I think it's this margin bottom here. Is it? Was it this padding? Nope. Let me just have a quick look in my custom CSS so I can see exactly what's going on there. You may not have this issue, in which case you can uh, ignore this part of the video and just skip to the end and I think we're practically done. So it's this margin bottom here, I believe. Let me just take that out for a second. And refresh. There we go, that's better. So we don't need that CSS code anymore. So if you happen to have that in, take that out. But there we go, we've got our social sharing buttons. That was nice and easy. We've got a lovely Pinterest save button as well. I'm happy with that. I uh, hope you are too. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got your social sharing buttons all up and running. I'd love to hear from you, so why not leave me a comment? I do read all the comments I get and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle. Why not check out my vlog channel by clicking on my face? And there's a couple of videos that are on the screen now. They've been chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Until next time, bye for now.